I've just added a new PVE cluster node member, and uh, I'd like to configure it to use Ceph with the rest of the cluster. So uh, currently I have four members in the cluster that are all joined into the Ceph configuration, and I want to do the same for a new node. So when I look at the Ceph page here, on the fifth new cluster node member, Proxmox notices that the Ceph packages aren't installed and offers to get them installed. What I will be doing is using all of this two terabyte NVMe drive in the new cluster member, and then this will remain with OS stuff. So let's see if we can get Ceph installed here and configured. There are three versions possible. The rest of the cluster is running 16.2, so it seems like the best thing to do would be to use the same version. Okay, it seems like that's done successfully. We'll go on. Okay, so I believe I now need to set the configuration. Uh, it can see the cluster, but it doesn't really participate in it yet. Okay, it figured out that my storage network was on 10.50. That is correct. That's my 10 gig switch. And the cluster network is on a separate LAN, and that's, that's all right. So I think here I want to create a new OSD taking up the whole device. That's right. So now that new OSD is getting joined in. I could add monitor and manager onto the new node, but the documentation says that it's not really necessary to run more than three monitors uh, in a modest cluster, and mine is definitely modest. And uh, there's only one active manager at a time, so I'm reluctant to create a new monitor and manager on the new node. It seems like that is not worth the resource allocation. We can see that we're still doing a rebalancing with the new storage added. So I'll let this churn for a while and uh, then I'll create a VM on this new node and move it around to different cluster nodes and see that the storage is truly hyper-converged. However, Ceph does what it does. It's kind of mysterious, but I think uh, it works well. The rebalancing and addition of the new storage space finished. And now I can see that the size has gone up. It's kind of interesting to see how it splits up nine point something terabytes worth of, of data. But um, I guess that's the price to be paid for super redundancy and the ability to move things around without uh, a real storage area network. Anyway, I'm going to call this a success.